It all actually started off when I was looking at my headphones. I wondered why these old school batteries that used to get in mobile phones couldn't just clip into the place of the headphones. As one does, I've come to Sham Shai Po in Hong Kong to try and get a replacement for one of these. I have a suspicion the firmware on the device is looking for resistance or some identifying characteristic. Basically at the minute, it's a lot of information and it's overwhelming. All of these have an unusual characteristic which this thing has been wired to look for that and basically reject and i've put in the new battery from the second hand but essentially it, it's strobing which means it thinks it's fully charged the the only sort of rational conclusion is that whatever this has been knocked got some ingress something's corroded a small component has failed and that might explain why basically none of the new batteries are charging if repairing the headphones wasn't to be they would surely go to a recycling facility I'm here today at Sweet Kusikoski, which is one of the UK's largest recycling plants of electrical waste from consumer goods. The massive pile behind me represents about a tenth of what's going to arrive today. This is 30% of what is actually taken from UK households. The other 70% ends up in uh, landfill, incineration, or frankly, God knows where. Time for a rethink so my headphones don't end up in the same way. In desperation and curiosity, uh, I've decided to sort of get these uh, optics out. Total chaos. So I have made a little sort of intervention, like a sort of circuitry heart bypass for recharging. So really pleased to give this a new lease of life. So this certainly has been, as I'm calling it, a fight to repair, but um, a very educational and useful one.